Welcome to DRD Technology. As an ANSYS channel partner, we provide simulation capabilities in the areas of fluid dynamics, structural mechanics, electromagnetics, and systems and multiphysics. DRD seldom supports ANSYS software in the central United States. We also provide consulting and training for the entire ANSYS software suite. Our mission is to help clients maximize their utilization of ANSYS software to the highest degree possible. Here we have a thermal mixer model within SOLIDWORKS. It's basically a large tube that has these tines on the inside for mixing up the flow. And we want to run a CFD analysis on this. So the first thing we're going to be doing is passing the model over to ANSYS Workbench. Once the model's brought in, we can go ahead and close SOLIDWORKS so that we free up the license for other people to use. Workbench is set up with a toolbox over to the left that has all of your available analysis types and then a project schematic which actually contains what you're going to be doing in this specific project. Everything's based off of a drag and drop type system. So for example, here we start with some sort of geometry and we can just drop a full analysis system on that that'll contain all of the information we need to do for a normal analysis, starting with geometry, creating a mesh for it, setting up the physics, solving and looking for salts and so forth. Let's go ahead and start off by editing the geometry to prepare for analysis using Space Claim Direct Modeler. And so here you can see the same model brought in to space claim. Now the first thing that we need to do is to create the fluid region which we're going to be solving. We can easily do that by using this volume extract tool and then selecting all of the edges that bound the inside of the pipe system. Then space claim will automatically extract the fluid region on the inside, as you can see there in the blue. Now we no longer need the solid since we're doing a CFD analysis, so I'll go ahead and just turn that off and proceed forward to the mesher. I'm going to create a very basic CFD mesh, and so the first thing I'm going to be doing here is including an inflation object which will refine the mesh near wall boundaries. So I'll just select all of the faces and then deselect any of them that are going to be flow faces, inlets, outlets, that sort of thing. Because we only need to refine near the walls where there's going to be high gradients in the flow. Then we can go ahead and generate the mesh. And we have a simple CFD mesh ready to go. Now let's say we need to make a design change. Well, we can easily go back into space claim and do that relatively easily. So for example, let's go ahead and just turn off our fluid really quick and go back to our original solid. Let's say we want to move those tines further downstream. Well, you can easily do that by selecting this move feature, select all the faces you want to move, those nice inside faces there, and then just drag and pull in the direction. And so we can place this, let's say, about there. Same sort of thing on this inlet pipe. Let's say that it actually comes in at some sort of angle. So let's select those top faces. Choose a direction to orient everything to. And then we can just say, grab a direction and spin. And say it comes in yeah, about that angle. And then lastly, let's move that inlet pipe downstream a little bit further too. So again, just select, drag, and pull and that's a good spot. Now, our fluid volume is still set with the original solid geometry, but we can easily fix that using a simple right-click menu to update. And as you can see, the fluid is now in the correct position with the solids. I'll go ahead and turn the solid back off again, since we're just doing fluids in this analysis. And then we can easily update that into the mesher, And you'll see that all of our mesh controls still apply, even after we've made a design change. So at this point, all we have to do is update the mesh, and we're ready to keep moving forward with our analysis.